Welcome guys, Red here. Today I have a solo gameplay, I'll be commentating on it and sharing my sh chain of thought and what I was thinking at that point of time. Let's get started, shall we? First I'm going to uh, Paradise, I'm going sideways to get there the fastest. And this is the best way to land, you all guys already should know about this if you watch my channel. So I'm going there and also looking around, trying to see if anybody is uh, coming Paradise to. I'll try, I like to land on the right side of uh, Paradise, which is the house right under me. And I'm looking now around, I see a couple of people. And I, I go to the north side of uh, Paradise. Still good, I get AKM, 6x, half grip and some more AKM ammo. A vector, I swapped the 3x for the AK, I keep it on the AKM. This game was before they fixed the uh, the uh, 3x sensitivity, so I couldn't use the uh, 3x on the AKM that well. So I kill that guy with the UMP and I go back outside here and trying to get better loot, maybe a vest. I find a vest here, some healing, a better vest. I'll just heal up, get ready and go back in, trying to go for more kills. Look how many first aids here. I, I love the loot of uh, Sanog. It's best loot ever. Just using a first aid, taking a painkiller and I'm all set. Guys, all I have to say about yesterday's video, it was a message and a truth and has been sent to this kid and apparently he doesn't like uh, the warnings. So next time uh, we, he's gonna see something it's gonna be the, the end i'm not gonna waste my time because i already wasted the whole day of uploading yesterday on his uh, garbage situation and he's now saying i've sent 10,000 subscribers of us or viewers and i've and he's physically harassed you, you understand this he should really go and google what physically means and harassed means Probably because English is a second language and he don't have enough information, so he should really do his homework. It doesn't really matter, he messed up with the wrong guy and he should have known that before he even started this, but it's too late for now and he's gonna have to deal with the consequences. I'm going around again, looking for more stuff. I found a duck pill. Uh, guys, I, I really enjoy using the duck pill, especially on the uh, shotgun. Such a very, it's, a, it's the best attachment, it's better than the uh, the white thingy, what, what was it What was it called? I don't know what it's called, the, the duck bill is better for the shotguns, I like it more. The bullets seems to be uh, more united and together more and there's not that much spread. Uh, I'm going up here, trying to get a vantage point, better vantage point on these kids and probably see where the other people are. Or at least get as much inf information as I can about where they could be. Over here, I'm gonna look here. Oh, there's a flare gun over here. Nice. That was actually like maybe the second time I got the flare gun. I'm gonna just shoot it in the air. I'm gonna get more attention. Because that's my point. Whenever I shoot it, I'll, I'm looking for more fights, more attention. And throwing all the bad stuff that I don't need, keep looting and also paying attention to the footsteps and the fires, the sound of the shots that's around. I I see, I hear footsteps so I just lock this side and whenever I see someone I'm gonna shoot. I'm waiting, there's more shots. I see a guy. Oh, I was a bit too slow. I'm gonna hit him a couple of times, headshots, rip that guy. He was looking at someone else, so I know there's one more guy over here somewhere. I can loot him real, real quick. Take this everything I, I need and just look for more stuff or for more people. And I'm still waiting for this airdrop to land. There's going to be a glitch after a couple of seconds. I'm going to tell you what you can do to fix it. There's a lot of bugs in this game. Oh well. We have to deal with it. I was trying to jump up this side and it does work as you guys can see. The crouching, crouch jumping technique still works. I've tested it myself. But it, it looks a bit harder because there's no more animation. And uh, I finally found a new airdrop. And now I, I, there's an AWM and M24. Holy shit! 
damn, this is perfect. This is a perfect setup. I kind of messed up here when I dropped the uh, AWM ammo because uh, I misclicked it. And I, was, I, wanted, I wanted to get some more uh, 5.56. I really enjoy the M249, it's such an amazing weapon, it has high DPS, especially now after the M4 ha got that big nerf uh, at the beginning. If you don't have any attachments on it, it's such a bad weapon to use at the beginning, but M249 is just so good and the DPS on it I feel so as good or even better than M4. So. If you don't have full attachments on the M4, don't use it. Get a SCAR or something else. QBZ is so good. I love the QBZ. It's so easy to use. You you literally just like sm you just pull down a little bit and you're set to go and you don't need anything else. I was looking here for the tw tw 300 gauge uh, ammo for the M AWM and I tried to get to it. I see it under this, but I can't get it anymore. I don't know why this is the bug I was talking about. Now I'm just gonna throw a nade, push the airdrop to the side and pick up my ammo. This kind of trolled me a bit. This this bug trolled me. Throw a nade and run the hell out of there. Nice, it works. You actually can use this not to only to push cars but also to push airdrops. So if there's an airdrop that's stuck on top of a house or on top of like a tree, you can literally throw a, a grenade or frag grenade, most specifically frag grenade, throw a frag grenade at it and it will push it and hopefully it will go down to the ground where you can loot it. So uh, bombs or throwables actually works on drops too, not only cars, you can't just, you, you can flip cars and you can also flip uh, airdrops. I see a guy over there, I don't know if that's a bot or a real player, unfortunately when I landed Paradise there wasn't that many players over here, it was kinda dead, but I will get some more kills later. Uh, I was looking for this guy, I'm waiting for him, he's gonna peek soon, damn, look how good the M249 is. Make sure I always have max ammo, but it doesn't really matter, 90 bullets is more than enough. Looking back at this point, I kinda wasted so much time on, uh, in Paradise, so next time I play and I have the same uh, situation that I'm in right now, I'll try to leave Paradise faster. And here we go, there's an M24 there, but um, uh, luckily for me I have found an AWM. That's the best sniper, by the way. To I take back my level three back uh, vest and I look around here. Notice whenever I'm running, I'm just looking everywhere, especially at the easiest spot where people can ha can hide, especially behind big rocks or big trees, or even compounds or sm like small houses. So I just scope in on there or just wait for a. Uh, a sound indicator to, to know what I should do for the next move. I misclicked over here. I'm gonna reload this real quick. There's 90 bullets, it's gonna become 100 real quick. I'm just like scouting and looking around. I'm already inside the zone. Now my point is to wait the zone to close and see which what's my next move is gonna be. I'll just uh, fix this. What is this guy doing? <laughs> what the hell? And now I'm jumping down. I, you guys can land on this house so you can take zero damage. I'm reloading again. Look, this is a bug, by the way, by the doors. If you don't get completely inside the doors before you close the door, you're gonna the door is gonna push you outside again. So try to go inside then close it. Now I'm just uh, boosting up fully, fixing my backpack, dropping all the stuff I don't need. I always try to, to keep my backpack as organized as possible. Drinking one more energy drink to have max boost. I'm gonna try to spend some time in these compounds just to see where the next zone is gonna be and also to plan my future moves and also to see if anyone is gonna come from behind me where the zone is closing from so I can catch them off guard. You, this is how people play tactical guys. You have to plan everything. You have to like predict if you don't predict, as other people will predict you and your moves. That's how you counter predict them. So literally now I'm just running around trying to get as much information or at least to force someone to shoot me. 
and, and after that I will know where this guy is and I'll have some fun ha fighting him I'm looking over there uh, I was put some time I took a little 2x over here I'm not gonna use it anyway but you never know when you're gonna need it just scoping in I make sure I always keep moving crouching peeking and not peeking all all of this at the same time the the end of this video is gonna be a bit sad because I did one mistake and I'm, I've learned from it but I'm, I'm gonna share it with you guys anyway because I'm, I'm not perfect I also do mistakes so when I do mistakes and I share them with with you guys you also can learn from my mistakes uh, I, I Sometimes some people are gonna ask me in the comments from now why do you use a holographic instead of a red dot? I really don't care. Holographic is such a good and underrated scope. I really enjoy using the scope. People should use it more because especially on a guns like a Groza or a QBZ or an M24, M4, M249 these guns has a, like a bit of high kick at the beginning when you shoot but they have a lower recoil like the second you you start spraying full spraying so when at the beginning when you have a red dot you will feel it's harder and if you have holographic you'll feel it's kind of easier it just feels easier it's not easier it just feels easier so you guys should give the holographic uh, a chance or go and test it out it's such a good and underrated scope I don't like the 2x personally but I, I know some people who really enjoy using the 2x I think it blocks a lot of view but I don't really know I, and also my sensitive view on the 2x I still not 100% comfortable with it as you guys can see now I have around 1 minute and 5 seconds I'm now planning my move and pushing to the zone I'm making sure there's no one behind me notice there's a car on my left I didn't pick it up because I wanted to go on foot the safest route to go is on foot because when you use a UAZ every person on a 275 meters away from you is gonna hear it and everyone's gonna pay attention to where you are and it's gonna put all of his focus on you so if there's a, more than one person who's uh, who's over there and you're playing solo you're basically done because you're gonna get sandwiched by two three sides maybe even four sides now I like to put the forex on the M M24 I, I always keep scoping or I mean swapping between the the red dots or in this situation holographic and the forex it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm pushing a hill and, and I know there's big uh, distance, I would use a 4X, but if I know it's very close, 50 meters or less, I will keep a holographic or a red dot. It's a lot easier to control it and look for the enemy, especially if he's a good player and he moves a lot. I'm making sure now I'm jumping. Whenever you jump, guys, by the way, you can see more stuff. So when, when I'm up the hill, I'm jumping, I can literally see if there's anyone hiding behind a tree or trying to peek me from behind a rock or something you won't be able to see it if you don't jump so sometimes jumping is a lot better I see a guy over there I'm gonna wait him for a couple of seconds and I will see him here I'll try to take a shot soon full auto him dead that guy had no chance for now I have five kills I'm playing tactically I'm going for the win this is how you would play how you should play uh, Miramar if you get lucky in your drop and you have so many people and you manage to survive the health drop that's how you get more kills or maybe if you get lucky also when you're trying to push the zone and you see so many people or you try to fight so many people that's how you get more ki more kills it's all about rng randomization and luck in this game even like even a bronze 5 noob can have a chance with killing you if you're not expecting him because the only thing they can do they have aim assist you can just click one button hip firing and kill you literally it's not uh, fortnite you can build it's not anything else so you really have to put pay more attention to this kind of stuff even like a bad player could have a chance still have a chance of killing you no matter how good you are now I'm rushing this compound, I take out my AWM, I really want to use it guys, I have never even seen a guy far away to be able to use it. Scoping back the scopes, notice guys, I don't stick with one scope the whole game, I use the scope that I need at this situation. And in future updates, they're gonna add a, a quick button where you can just click on this button and s select the, 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 the number of the scope that you want. Uh, by for example if you have a 4x and you want to put a 6x you can just click this button 
choose the six and click on it and done. Voila. You don't need to go to your inventory, swap the weapons, put the scope back and la 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 blah 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 whatever. No, it will be so much easier. I can't wait for that update. I had a guy under me actually, I'm gonna swap scopes. As you guys can see, I'm gonna try to wait him out. Damn, headshots, clear. This guy was not expecting me. He should have listened to my footsteps. I think I made a couple of small moves, but I tried to minimize them as much as I can. Notice here, this is crouch jumping. And as I said at the beginning, you can crouch jump to go through uh, uh, small walls or you can crouch jump to climb higher or jump higher. So it still works, guys. I'm gonna leave a link or a card in the description or you can click on the screen right now if you wanna learn this new tactic about uh, jumping high and crouch jumping windows. This is very useful because you don't have to be stuck in the annoying animation. Now the zone is closing again and unfortunately I kinda messed up the timing and I didn't pay attention to the timing, that was my mistake. Uh, I see a couple of people over there, I don't know, I heard shots. And now I noticed the zone is closing and I said, oh shit, yeah. Uh, now I have to run in the open field and that was not a good experience. <laughs> I really, I should have moved a lot earlier and, f and faster. But I really don't care, especially in Sanok, the zone moves so slow, so you literally can just outrun it. And when I'm running with a sniper in my hand, I don't do it just because of YOLO, no, because I feel comfortable enough that I can, if someone shoots at me, I can just literally headshot him and kill him. And I have the AWM, the most powerful weapon. Even if you are shroud and you're standing still or like you're trying to shoot me, I will snipe you in the head. Probably shroud will kill me by the way. But yeah, he will literally just destroy me. <laughs> uh, yeah guys, that was a bad example, but you guys get the point, it's right. Uh, I think I heard someone over here. Yep, I take shots on him. Uh, by the way, I had aim assist disabled, guys. as Because you noticed here, my aim assist didn't follow him. I was literally doing it myself. I really had a bad experience with aim assist where I have, was... I was solo squatting and there's a full squad in a car and I, I knocked the first guy with an AKM and I tried to move the, to the guy behind him, the one to the one I was that was driving and the second I tried to move to the right, my aim assist locked on the guy on the left. So I was literally stuck in the middle between the two players because I couldn't move my, my crosshair to the right and I, the aim assist kept pulling me left and that was such a bad experience to have. Also, other times I was in, I knocked someone and his teammate is literally behind him and I couldn't shoot his teammate, the one who's already alive, to kill him. So it was my aim assist was already locking on the one who's knocked and I really do not enjoy that either. So I I don't know aim assist is so overrated. Uh, I don't enjoy it and this game was without it. And as you guys can see, you can literally literally do whatever you want and it aim assist is not that big of a deal. You might use it if you want, but I'll advise not to. Swapping back to the red dot because I'm pushing the compound and I'm focusing on the windows of, of the houses. This is a dangerous move, but I'm doing it and I'm committed. I think I heard someone. Yeah, I heard someone over here in this compound or maybe the one behind it, but I literally heard footsteps. I'm backing off. I'm making sure I pay attention to that side too. And guys, uh, I, I see a lot of people do this mistake. When you hear someone, this doesn't mean that all the other houses are empty and there's one guy only in that house. Some, some other dude might be camping in a different house and the first guy don't even know about him. This guy got surprised when I... Uh, you notice what I did, alright? I'm gonna explain it. I went inside the zone because when I knew he was on the houses behind me, I tried to go to the zone and force him to come to my side where I will be having the advantage on him and he's gonna have to run to me instead of me running to him or trying to find him. And it was an easy kill. You have to plan it, as I said. You have to plan your move and predict what other people are gonna do. Now I'm just looking for the other five players that are left. Uh, I don't see anyone yet. Uh, apparently this game is only M249. I, I didn't even use the AWM. Rip. I wish if I saw someone up there or something to, to be able to snipe him. But for now it's AW, uh, I mean M249 only. Uh, the zone is closing in 30 seconds. I should move right now. And yes, I am. 
I'm gonna try to see. All right, guys, uh, the zone is actually on the other side. I tried to see which is the best route to take to get to the next to the next zone, and I said, if if I went from the left, it's actually downhill, and if you go from there, you're gonna be so exposed, and all the people up this hill from this side are gonna be able to shoot at you. And especially the people that are already in the houses. So what I did, I went from the right side where the hill is and actually tried to clear on the edges of the circle and go into the circle with the zone. Because when the zone is closing, everyone who's on the edges and capping the edges is gonna push. So you will be have more chance of surviving and killing them. Notice here, whenever I'm brushing a compound, I don't run straight at it. I try to run in a zigzag and also crouch unpredictably so someone if he tries to take a shot he will not be able to finish me completely he will he might hit me a couple of shots or maybe like get me so low but he's not gonna be able to finish me completely completely still five people alive and I'm looking for the enemies I'm gonna close the door uh, because I kind of notice there's no one behind me I, I'm I think I see one guy over there take him out real quick Easy peasy. There's one more, I think, over there. He was also shooting. And there's a lot of shots over here. So, four people alive. I'm gonna swap scopes soon. I opened the door and tried to peek from this side. And soon I'm gonna start hearing a lot of gunshots and fighting and stuff. And at this point, the EWM is so useless. I would rather to have a shotgun at this point at this stage because it's in houses and if I rush someone with a shotgun I will have a higher chance of killing him than he having like for example a Groza. Making sure I look behind me and I, I, I know there's one guy at the left compound where there's two stories and I'm, I'm trying to like see where he is where this guy is and he's finding someone else further away from him towards southeast so there's two people finding there and there's other two players that I don't know where they are I'm trying to uh, see where the other two are there's gunshots here they're fighting they're throwing nades and stuff it's like like a, it's a it's a fiesta guys it was a fiesta I'm now throwing a couple of nades Notice how I try to cook the nade a couple of seconds before I throw it. I should have waited like 0.5 more seconds, but it doesn't matter. He wasn't there. He was in a small room on the right side and you don't have a window from this side to kill him. Uh, notice how I jumped here. I, I faced on my right side towards the window and I jumped out. Notice here, there's a sneaky guy who was already hiding and proning in the, on the other side of the river. And that guy is going to... You're gonna remember that guy later in the video. I tried to look under the bridge, but there's no one. I know there's two people there, as I said, and there's only one guy left somewhere, and I, I, I'm like most likely saying he's on the other side of the river. That two pe players have been fighting for like two minutes, and they still couldn't kill each other. So I was just like, what the hell guys, come on, finish this. I heard him on the stairs side, so I didn't push. I tried to get an angle on this stairs to be able to kill him. I'm going to wait him to move or uh, to fight the other guy again and then probably surprise him and jump on him. Notice here, uh, I'm going to see the third guy. And I, I'm not going to take shots because I was kind of trolling. Yeah, is the other guy is gonna be here. It's gonna come. Yeah, you see him? I, I didn't take shots. See this? I was kind of trolling, and I wanted to troll this guy. He looked like a, a noob, but karma is a uh, is very strong. So this guy killed me at the end, and I was trolling him so hard. So yeah, don't don't troll, guys. I've learned it the hard way. We're gonna see it later. This is what I say when you can't, when you know you can't take a fight and you take it anyway, that's just stupid of you. And when you think you're better than everyone and like everyone's dog shit and you're the best, that's also bad of you because you're just destroying your own self and your own, you, like you're just destroying yourself by your own hand. Rip. You guys know what I'm talking about. I come rush this guy, I was kinda getting enough of this guy and there's one more other one on the left towards southeast, I mean southwest, where is it, no it's southeast. So one in front of me on the right, one on the left, this guy jumped out, what, 
Yep, and there's one more guy over here. I kinda wanted to troll him with a pan kill or an AWM, but I kinda trolled him too hard and he killed me. Yep. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next time. The link for my Discord is in the description. I hope I see you there. Peace.